Hello friends, in this video we will be synthesizing SO benzene by the reduction of nitro benzene with magnesium metal. For this synthesis we will need 6.2 grams of pure nitro benzene, 110 milliliters of methanol, 6 grams of magnesium metal and a small speck of iodine crystal. Start by fixing a 300 ml round bottom flask on a stand using a clamp. Add 6.2 grams of nitro benzene to the flask. 110 ml of methanol was measured in a graduated cylinder and was transferred to the flask. 3 grams of magnesium metal turnings were then added to the round bottom flask. The remaining 3 grams will be added later. Now, a speck of iodine crystal was added to the round bottom flask. Addition of iodine helps to remove any magnesium oxide present on the surface of magnesium metal turnings, thereby initiating the reaction. A magnetic steering bar was then dumped into the round bottom flask and the flask was set up on top of a hot plate stirrer equipped with a dim broth condenser. Steering was then turned on. Heating is not generally required, but if you don't see the reaction commencing in 2 to 3 minutes, a gentle warmth could be applied using a hot water bath. But in my case, that was not necessary and soon the reaction started. The reaction is pretty exothermic and you can see the contents of the flask are being reflexed. The color of the solution slowly darkens and now we have a yellow colored solution. While the reflex is going on, let us quickly go through the chemical reaction that is taking place. Nitrobenzene is partially reduced by magnesium turnings in the presence of sodium hydroxide to form SO benzene. Now let us go along with the reaction. If the reaction becomes unduly vigorous, cool the flask momentarily in ice water. When most of the magnesium dissolves and the reaction seems to die down, the next 3 grams of magnesium was added and the condenser was quickly positioned again. The complete reaction took about 1.5 hours and finally we have a bright yellow colored solution with abundant precipitate of magnesium hydroxide. The contents of the flask clearly looks like mango juice. After the reaction is complete, the flask was reflexed gently for 30 minutes and then allowed to cool to room temperature. Now the contents of the flask was poured into around 200 ml of ice water. Then glacial acetic acid was added until the pH of the solution becomes acidic. This was tested from time to time using a pH paper. After the solution becomes acidic, the color of the contents have transformed from bright yellow to orange. There is also some deep orange to red colored oily droplets floating around. And this is the crude asobenzene. Now the beaker was placed in ice bath for 30 minutes. This will cause all the oily droplets to solidify. The solution was then vacuum filtered and the solid was collected. The reddish orange solid that we get is the crude SO benzene. Now we recrystallize it from hot 90% ethanol solution. On cooling in freezer overnight, orange colored needle shaped crystals of SO benzene separate out. It was later vacuum filtered and dried. The practical yield is 3.1 grams. 123 grams of nitrobenzene should theoretically yield 182 grams of azobenzene. Here we have taken 6.2 grams of nitrobenzene, so the theoretical yield is 9.1 grams of azobenzene. The practical yield was 3.1 grams, so the percentage yield is 3.1 divided by 9.1 into 100 and that is 34 percentage. That's all in this video. Hope you have enjoyed the video. These are all my Patreon supporters who are financially helping me so that I am able to purchase new equipments and chemicals required for doing new videos. You can also support me financially via Patreon or PayPal. The links for both of them are given in the description. Once again, thank you for watching. Do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell button for notifications regarding my future videos. Thank you.